Hello and welcome, I'm your host Lesawi and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a sprinting and a stamina system. So let's begin. I'm going to show you the overview. So if I'm uh, running normal, he's going to have a normal animation. But once I'm sprinting, the animation changes and our stamina drains. Like so. So the first thing you want to do, go to Mixamo and inside of Mixamo find an animation that you like. So I'm using the fast run animation. When you're downloading, uh, take in place so he doesn't run off. And for the download, I'm going to keep it at 60 frames without skin to save space. Once you're back in Unreal, um, you can import it by dragging in inside and selecting the Goatman skeleton for me, but for you it would be whatever you have, and import all. So next we're going to go to our blend space and I'm going to set the maximum speed to be 800 because that's the speed I want my character to be sprinting at. And I'm going to drag my fast animation into here setting the speed to 800. So that's all you need to do for the blend space. You can exit out of this. Now, inside of our character, so for me, BS, our uh, BP underscore character, I'm going to create two variables, one called stamina and of type float, and the other one, max stamina. And once I compile, I can set the value here. So for me, it'll be 100, but you can set this to whatever you like. And I can compile again. So now I'm going to create here a user interface widget blueprint and user widget. So I'm going to call it WB or widget blueprint and stamina bar. So you want to go inside of here and you want to create a canvas panel and then you want a progress bar now the next step is not necessary but you can also add a text so you see the the numbers and drag it into here so for my sta uh, stamina bar i'm gonna rename the progress bar to stam stamina bar then i'm gonna have it on the side of the screen. So remember to anchor it because depending on the screen resolution, it will shift. So the same for the text, you want to anchor it so it doesn't uh, display somewhere else if your screen resolution scales. So here I'm gonna set the length to be 300 and I'm gonna keep the, the height the same. And then I'm gonna take, get my text, set it to 18, I think is okay. And if I place it over here, set 100 so i know it looks good about there and for here if i drag the percent i can see this uh, going up so i'm gonna select the thing here and i will change it to a greenish color like so and then for the background is still gray so if i go to style background image i can double click on this and select it to a darker green like that Okay, then for my text, I want to set it to a variable and I'm also going to rename it to stamina text. You don't have to do this, but just so I know what's happening. And if I click on the stamina bar and I go to percent, I want to create a new binding. So inside of here, I'm gonna create a new variable stamina and of type float now we will cast oops now we will cast to our character so cast to bp underscore character for me but for you it might be steve or bob hit player character and then from here as bp character i'm gonna get my stamina that we created in our character blueprint and i'm also gonna get the max stamina that we created in the character blueprint and i'm going to simply divide them by each other like so and then the output goes into the return node so that's the percent linked but now we want to go back to the designer select our text and we also want to bind our texts over here create a new binding and over here uh, i'm gonna simply cast 
to character. So underscore pp underscore character. Get player character. And then from here, I want to get stamina. And I also want to get my max stamina. Because I'm going to clamp it. So that the value doesn't go below zero and it also doesn't go below 100. So over here and then I want to do a text to float. And from here we're going to do format text. So break this line and inside of format do curly brackets x and close the curly brackets. Then the return value goes into x and we simply plug the return value into the return node. So that's our text locked up. Now we can close the stamina bar. Uh, that's all we have to do in there. Also, before I forget, let's go and create a new input action. So I already have this created from the last save, but I'm going to delete this. So now I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, input action and create IA input action sprint. So save it. And then instead of our input action mapping, we're going to create a new input ma mapping. And then here, select sprint. And the button for this, uh, for me, it's going to be left shift. I already have it selected there. But you can select whatever you want. Now, if you close it off, inside of our character blueprint again, I can look for input action sprint. And here, I can unstart it. I can do start sprinting, but I need to create the functions. So let's create two custom events called uh, drain stamina and the second custom event called uh, regen stamina and then uh, two functions one called start sprinting and a second one called stop sprinting so instead of our start sprinting function we're going to get our character movement and from here we're going to set speed so that's going to be our set max walk speed and we want to set the speed at which we will be sprinting so for me that will be 800 and i hook it up like so then from here I'm going to create a new variable called is sprinting. And we're going to set this to be true because we are sprinting. And then the result of this is going to be drain stamina. So we can copy this because it's fairly similar in stop sprinting. And we put this back. So this time we're setting our max walk speed to be simply a running speed because we are no longer sprinting. And if we are no longer sprinting, then this is going to be false. And as a result of this, we're not going to drain stamina, but we're going to regen stamina. So the only thing we have to do now is set up the logic in the drain and stamina functions. So I can close the stop and I can close the start. And here on started, we're going to have start sprinting. And on completed, we're going to have stop sprinting. Uh, there we go. So, like so, I can move this out of the way. And here, I want to set up the logic, but before I do that, I want to go to my event begin play. And over here, I want to create a sequence because I already have code existing and I want to create more code. So, zero goes into this and then one is going to go into our new code so create widget of course you can make this look a lot prettier then stamina we want to promote this to a variable i'm going to call it stamina ref reference and we will add this to our viewport so we can see it then we're going to set stamina so the variable we created inside of our widget we're setting this to be our maximum stamina like so Connect this, and now if you save it, you should see the stamina beyond screen, but it doesn't have any value for us yet. So we want to set up the logic for that. So if we go back to our character, inside of our drain and stamina, region and drain, I'm going to get my stamina, 
and I'm going to subtract. And here is a value you can choose for yourself, but I found 0 0.4 to be good. And we're going to set our stamina again. And before I actually set it, I want to clamp this value, clamp float, to be stamina is ma minimum is zero and maximum is our max stamina. So then just connect this like so. So I'm getting my stamina, I am minusing 0 0.4 and I'm clamping it so it doesn't go below zero and it doesn't go below max and then I'm setting it again. So from here, I will get my stamina reference, set my stamina, and I'm just going to hook up my stamina here, maximum stamina, and we set this like so. So this is just linking the widget to the character. Now from here, I'm going to get my stamina, and I'm going to check if this value is equal to zero. If the value is equal to zero, so we get the branch. If the value is equal to zero, we are no longer sprinting because we don't have any stamina. So stop sprinting uh where's that stop sprinting there we go and if it is false we want to check if we are still sprinting so get a branch again and if we are continuously sprinting and the stamina is not equal to zero then we're going to drain stamina and before i drain i want to create a delay so this is how often our Stamina is going to be drained, so 0 0.1 is a good value. Of course, you can mess around with the delay and you can mess around with this just to see what's uh, good for you. But those values are good for me. And I'm going to comment this with C and call it stamina drain. Then over here for our stamina region, I'm going to get my... Actually, I can copy this because it's fairly similar. So copy and paste. Only a few values I need to change. So the first value I'm going to change is instead of minus, we want to be adding. So because I want it to be a little bit less, I'm going to do 0 0.2. So we get a stamina, we add it, and we're clamping it. Then we are setting it. So then we link it, and then we're checking if our stamina is equal to not 0, but our maximum stamina. And if the value is true, then we do want to do nothing, because we have max stamina, so we're fully regenerated. And if we are sprinting, or we are not sprinting, so false, we want to check if, uh, then we don't want to drain, we want to regen, because we are no longer sprinting, and our maximum is stamina is full, so, uh, our maximum, wait, I'm so confused right now. Uh, so, I'm going to do regen stamina, so let me do this again. So, if our maximum, if our stamina is equal to max stamina, if true, we do nothing. If it is not equal to and we are not sprinting, then we regen. Yeah, that's right. So uh, we comment this to stamina regen. That's that. And now if we do sprint, we should see that our stamina drains. There we go, like so. But one issue. If we are standing and we hold shift, it's going to drain. So to fix this quickly, um, create a new variable called is moving so instead of our is moving we're gonna set this to be true so one for true one for false and once started we're gonna set this to true this is in my movement for the character and then we're going to do on completed it's going to be set to false so if you don't know where this is this comes uh with the new uh, character blueprint third person, third person character blueprint and I'm just setting unstarted to is moving and uncompleted to is moving to be false. Once you have this, then for the input action, get is moving, get a branch. And if, if this is true, if we are moving, then we're going to sprint. And if it is false, we're going to do nothing, like so. So compile, save, and now we can see. I'm holding shift, nothing happens, and when I'm sprinting, stamina drains like normal, and when I stop sprinting, stamina regenerates. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.